Rigoletto opens Michigan Opera Theater season. The Michigan Opera Theater kicks off its 2017-2018 season with an updated version of Giuseppe Verdi's classic Rigoletto, with the setting changed from a 16th century dukedom in Italy to a 1950s mob run Little Italy, New York. Considered one of Verdi's operatic masterpieces, Rigoletto was updated by Jonathan Miller for a London production 35 years ago, one of many variations that have been performed over the years. The Miller version makes its debut at the Detroit Opera House on October 14. While the setting and time frame have changed significantly from the original Verdi version, the opera retains its thrilling score and intriguing tales of love, lies and sacrifice. Rigoletto tells the story of a father's attempt to protect his beautiful daughter, Gilda, from a licentious, powerful admirer, which leads to vengeance and tragedy. Instead of a duke preying upon the daughter of his hunchback court jester, the updated version features a mafia boss attempting to seduce the daughter of his bartender in New York's Little Italy. Stephen Lord, principal conductor of the Michigan Opera Theater, said the production is the most successful update of an opera he has seen. It illuminates the story without distracting from Verdi's intentions, he said. It is a true testament to the timelessness of the work. Rigoletto, based on a play by Victor Hugo, premiered in Venice in 1851 and is considered one of the operatic masterpieces of Verdi's middle to late career. In Detroit, the opera marks the beginning of the first full season under Lord's artistic leadership. A renowned conductor and frequent guest conductor for the Michigan Opera Theater, Lord will oversee artistic direction through the 2018-19 season, while a search continues to replace David DiCiera. DiCiera, founder and former artistic director emeritus, retired last fall. Ellen Tyler Hall, who is directing the Detroit production, is excited for audiences to see the updated version. I think Rigoletto is one of the most amazing mockers that has ever been written, she said. It's a real tour de force for the tenors and contains two incredible and well-known arias. There are many, many highlights. It's the marriage of the music with the drama that makes it so special. The opera includes Verdi's beloved score, including the famous aria, La Donna e Mobile, sung by the Duke or Mafia boss. Tyler Hall, who has directed the Miller version before, said the themes in the original are more